Welcome to the Healers Cafe, conversations on health and healing with Manova Lige, a retired and deregistered naturopathic physician with 30 plus years of experience. Here you will discover engaging and informative conversations between experienced healers, covering all aspects of healing, the personal journey, the journey of the practitioner, and the amazing possibilities for our own body and spirit. So welcome to the Healers Cafe. And today I have with me Christine Blanchett, and she is the host and producer of Run With It. It's a monthly running fitness and health program. And um, basically her, her passion is about promoting physical literacy, health and wellness. So I want to welcome you to this show. And, um, and well, let, let's start with what got you, I'm, I'm very curious what the show, like, you know, you're interviewing medical professionals. Why did you choose this? But what happened in, in your trajectory, in your life, that got you so interested in this in the first place? Yes, well, first of all, thanks for having me on the show. And I love the name of your podcast, Theater's Cafe. So I'm really excited to be here. And I guess, you know, I've always had a passion for running. Never really was good in sports or I was always picked last in basketball, but running, I was introduced running to running with, you know, my brother and he said, go out and run uh, for points. <laughs> so I wasn't the athlete in the family, it was my brother. But the fast forward from, from high school, I started running in Vancouver when I moved to Vancouver in 1989. And it's always been a passion of mine. And then I was working in print uh, and, and I loved it, but unfortunately I got laid off. So one day I was on deadline because I created a running column, fitness running column. And I thought, what am I going to do? And I thought, an epiphany moment. I know I'm going to create my own show, my running show. And I thought, oh, okay, how can I start this? <laughs> but I had this idea and then Doug Lucas, who I worked with at Rogers TV, I sent him the proposal and I said, I'd like to start a show on running fitness and health. And then from there, it just blossomed. Uh, it, you know, it took two years to get off the ground. It started in Shaw TV, but running is always, and, and health, right? It's always been, it fuels me. It makes me, I feel good about myself. Like I went running today and I just love it. And it doesn't matter. It doesn't have to be running, it could be swimming, it could be walking, gardening, whatever. It's as long as you're moving. And, that, and I'm so passionate about what I do and I want to inspire others. And, and I feel my running clinic, the people in the running clinic inspire me. It's not a, the other way around. I feel like you're always learning from others. So that's basically how it started. It's always been there I just came out stronger with creating this show in 2013 mm, I see so I mean I, I understand moving is is a, is the thing but so what is it about running specifically that that um really gets you <laughs> oh I feel I feel free I feel it's my appointment with myself I I, I don't know I I feel I'm like, I know it may sound silly, but I feel like a bird, like I'm flying. I got my wings that I feel like I just lose the mind and body connection. It's just like I'm in Zen. I'm in sync with my body and everything just feels right after. No matter how stressful I feel the beginning of a run or a workout, it just takes me to a better place. And running, I owe running so much. It's, it's helped me. Um, to be, I, I don't know, a better human, a better, a better person overall, that balanced lifestyle and to help others. So yeah, I don't know. It's it's some people like swimming and and it's whatever moves you is is really the objective. But it's the connection that you have to your to your body too. Yes, it just feels you're in that moment. Well, obviously. <laughs> like endorphins they have the endorphins it's like sometimes I don't feel like running so I say I trick my mind I don't have to trick my mind I'll say okay oh 
okay, if I go up for five minutes, only five minutes, but I end up going for a half hour. <laughs> and then I'll have my running gear or workout gear right there. So it's a trick. So after we're, after been a busy day in meetings, virtual meetings, I have my, my clothes right there and it's ready for me. So I just end up putting, putting it on. It just makes it easier. It's just, it's just a way of my thinking and maybe it'll help others who are watching this or listening or yeah, yeah. both. Um, it works. <laughs> so it's interesting because so it, you haven't been able to fool your, you still have to fool your mind. There's so there's still a resistance to yes. it, though really you clearly are so passionate about it that you even have an entire TV show about it. Right. So it's very it's interesting to hear that, you know, but it, so why is it do you think that you have to fool your mind? You found a, a way to make it easy. Like you said, you have your clothes ready. You say it's five minutes, which anyone can do. Right. And then, of course, as soon as you get into it, you realize you're loving it. So you're going to do it longer. Right. But but why do you think that is or have you thought about that? I think it's making time for yourself. I like to call my point with myself uh -huh. is self-care. I think everyone needs to practice self-care, whether it's one tip a day. And I've learned this through interviewing some of the guests on the show. But it's for me, I need to take care of myself in order to take care of others. If I feel, oh, I got to send this email. I have to do this. I feel, hey, what about myself? I need this. So I, I, I need, and we all have our days where we are just so busy. Even if I just, okay, well, tomorrow's another day. But if I can somehow do some body weight training or something, doing the stairs, anything, I'll just, I feel like psychologically it helps me. But if I don't, then I'll say tomorrow's another day, as I said. And, and I just, because we're human, it's just, mm -hmm. you know, it happens. So that self-care is so important mm -hmm. and, and it just helps. So if any, anyone listening, watching could just, whatever it is, you know, it's just, it's vital to help. It helps me to help others. And I think it can yeah. help everyone overall. So, so, so that's it. I mean, sorry. <laughs> I'm just... <laughs> I'm going probably on a tangent, totally unexpected, but <laughs> but it's actually, I'm very curious about this. Um, because now, if you say it's self-care, which we all need, and, you know, um, I wonder if there is a resistance, not so much to running, but to self-care, actually to valuing, to actually take half an hour off our busy schedules to do something that we love so that that's where the resistance is. Yes. And I think too, is that it's having a goal. Uh, I think that helps with making you want to achieve. So if your idea is to do a power walk and you start off for like 10 minutes, okay, my objective is to do 20 minutes next week, like no more than 10% for running when you do a pro. But if you practice that and have a goal, everybody needs goals in life to keep moving with our mind and body. If you don't have a goal, you sort of, you don't know, where, it's like, I don't, you, you're just not the best of yourself. So what it moves you is, is to self-care, but also having that goal and whatever that goal is, you start with a small goal and then, and then, you know, have a bigger goal. So start this, this journey, whatever the journey is. And if you are always interested in gardening, you can do apartment, a gardening condo or you have a place or it could be anything, just marking it down too, which is very helpful. I don't always rely on my mind. I have that. I have it in my mind, but I always write it down and it helps me. Okay. Today I'm doing a 20 minute run, mm -hmm. check it off. And then I'm going to do this all these goals every day um, it's just helpful yeah, yeah but that's in a sense how to how to put it in your schedule but the the resistance is still it's still, it's still, it's still there. there right so it, it's interesting that you know there's so many things we do without thinking of, for which we have no resistance and yet when it comes to carving out time for self or to do something that we know, whatever that is, whether it's running or whether it's meditating or whether it's whatever, um, 
it's not uncommon to have this resistance where you have to trick yourself you know, yeah. to to actually do it you know which it, it, can do you have any other thoughts or insight of why that might be because, I mean, it's a phenomenon. <laughs> yes, I mean, it's that value, knowing your self-worth, knowing that when you do something that you love, and it's not every day you're going to love everything because of time commitments. Maybe you, you know, you're injured. Maybe you're just having a bad day ment like mentally, you know. But I also think meditation, if you can just do your breathing. I've learned at your desk, you're on your you're breathing in and just you find your mind is in a better space and you it, it, that's another helpful tip is but I just I and I go through that so when I do those that um meditation breathing I should call it um and changing up my workout whether it's not running every day but cross training power walking and knowing your work knowing that you are you need to make time for yourself and again resistance does come in because things come along like we are we're so busy that we have to make time so yeah i i think those are the kind of things that can help so mm -hmm. i hope i answered your question yeah, <laughs> it's, I mean, it's a it's a catch it's a <laughs> like it's, yeah. Um, yeah. i love your question yeah. so. it, it makes a difference and yet we have to make the difference to have it happen, right? So it's yes. kind of a catch-22, right? Like, <laughs> we know the end result. That's the thing. Yes, right? and, and visualization, yeah. right? Visualization, you know, like, when you visualize it, it can yeah. very helpful, which comes into meditations. These are like, you know, I've learned so much from others as well. So, you know, if you can, you know, reach out to others' resources. It's, it, it's just helpful all, overall. Mm. Yeah, no, I think, I think, um, and I think, you know, it's, it's fine to have tricks if it works. Um, that's the whole point, right? Having it yeah. super accessible, you know, like your, your, your running gear right there or things like that. They're just easy tricks, right? That allow you to fall into it without, um, you know, without triggering as much resistance. But I wonder where the original resistance, um, you, you bring up value, you know, your self-worth. I wonder if unconsciously so many of, uh, of us have been trained or received the interpretation that our own selves are of lesser value. In other words, you have to value everyone else or who you work for, or even if it's yourself, it's then your responsibility to the team or the, the end result or whatever it is, you know, and that your health somehow yeah it's like it's less you know and yet without it there's nothing yes because if you generally speaking you don't take care of yourself you can't take care of others and exactly. and, and you know we're worth it we're worth taking care of ourselves and having um a moment to ourselves whether it's five minutes it's it's or you know doing your you know, you're breathing and you're relaxation, you're you know, opening your arms and and you're doing these chair. I know I'm doing it here right now, but just yeah. just knowing that you're worth, you know, you're gonna be you know, helpful to others. And you have family, you know, there's family, there's your, you know, your maybe your spouse, your partner, you know, your father, anyone, and you need to be in a overall mind, body and and spirit uh, practice, you know, it's, it's, it, it's just very helpful. And that's what I try to do every day. And, and it, it, it's just when I don't, when I don't exercise, I don't feel the same. I don't, I don't feel it's, I'm pristine. <laughs> I feel because I got so much energy, as you probably can tell when I'm talking, I need, I need to uh, work out. It's part right. of me. Mano Bolige here, and I want to thank you for taking actionable steps towards engaging your healing journey and helping others discover their path by watching, sharing, subscribing, and reviewing these podcasts. Every review and share helps spread the word, these different perspectives and choices and options for healing. 
And to thank you, I'd like to invite you to sign up to my free seven sequence email tips on health and healing for everyday life. You can go to healerscafe.com tips. Thanks so much. So, so tell me a bit more about your, um, your program, like um, your television program and what made you interested because it's, you know, we're kind of doing a similar idea, you know, I, I did not know, <laughs> I, I need to search the, the internet more, but I just do what I love, so <laughs> I just thought, oh, I want to, I want to connect with people, I want to see, you know, how it is for mostly healthcare practitioners or anyone in the healing field, um, you know, why they're into it, what brought them there, you know, and then just have conversations of what it's really like to be in that world, you know, so that's, uh, that was sort of my motivation. And then I realized that it's my natural place to um, have conversations with strangers. <laughs> and I get to meet all these fabulous people. And so I've, I've started to realize this is my perfect introvert paradise. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's, it's wonderful doing it virtually too you know with your you have so much experience and you know it's a pleasure to you know to be your guest and but you know on the show is it's about the gas it's about you know helping others it's, it's raising awareness education and I am the messenger I, I'm I'm right. there to to just feed questions and do my research as best as I can and ask questions and whether it's a, a dentist or a naturopathic physician or a medical doctor or holistic nutritionist or registered dietitian, mm -hmm. um, injury prevention, any, any, you know, doctors, medical professionals, uh, yoga instructor, just, uh, yeah, fitness entertainment, uh, an actor who comes on the show who needs to get ready and how does he work out or her, how does she work out? It's, it's a wealth of information. Um, I feel, and again, I just, I'd like to raise awareness and provide education and it's up to the viewer on what they want to take from that, from that. And yeah, so it's, it's really, you know, as I said, you know, it, it's, it's, I'm learning so much from others. So, um, mm -hmm. And from you today, I'm learning, you know, and it's, it's just wonderful. <laughs> yeah, well, that's how I feel too. I, I love, you know, learning to, um, yeah, what, what really got people interested in this, you know, because I mean, we're, we're facing so many health issues yes. and, you know, and <clears throat> on a huge scale and, and I think more to come um, that it's almost like, it's like abandoning our, you know, I don't know the expression in English, but, you know, it's like our, our sovereign right to health. You know, we have this, we, you know, we, we, we really know what is right for our body. Just like for you, you know, that movement helps and makes you feel good. And yet, you know, we've been so cultured into a, a world where, we've given up our inner power, or inner knowing to, you know, experts, and we've counted on outside stuff, you know, whether it's, um, you know, drugs, or whether it's um, legal drugs, illegal drugs, um, you know, vitamins, you know, an excess of, I mean, all of these things have their place. But the point is, it's, it's almost like the outside knows better than the inside. And that's sort of where our society has has gone, right? And and I think that's why we have become so gullible to, um, you know, authority instead of actually looking inside and going, well, wait a minute here, my body can do all these magical, wonderful, incredible things, the very best pharmacies inside of me. You know, these kinds of statements, we don't, yeah, we, I don't think we, we spend enough time um, rejoicing in that, I think. You know, yeah. I, I don't yeah. know, you've interviewed tons of practitioners. What's your, what's your sense of, or has this kind of thing come up in discussion? Well, you know, and 
like Dr. Lucas McMillan, he, um, you know, he was saying that the more we know, the better we are armed with information. It's not enough to take people, uh, you know, rely on the doctor's advice, because sometimes it's really hard to see a doctor. Sometimes it's just virtual. So you really have to, the onus is on us, is for our health. The more we learn, and there's so much information out there, cross-reference it, and, and be armored with our knowledge, question things. We have a right to question things. We, you know, just, you know, healing our bodies, you know, whether it's, um, you know, vitamins, taking the right supplements, as opposed, why do I need to take Tyno when I don't take, I mean, I'm not endorsing it, but I, you know, I'll, I don't like taking a lot of painkillers. I'll try to heal on my own. And then I would ask, you know, the gas and, you know, they, and, you know, just having that knowledge and, and, and you know, it, it's really important because as, as I said, you know, as you know, it's really hard to get a doctor. I have to really say, well, I have to see you in person um, because I don't want to do a phone call or a virtual. I mean, I know I understand with COVID and I understand, but at the same time that we really do have to question and ask questions. We have the right to ask. We don't just so take liberty, you know. Um, yeah, is that true? I, I like to question everything. It's how I how I feel. It's just my intuition, you know. And I have guests on the show who could talk about that, like Dr. Lewis McMillan, for example. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. And it's interesting. I just had a, a, a strange experience. Um, <laughs> I had to get my wisdom teeth out. Oh. I, had, I had these taken up before and now it was on the other side. So, um, and I don't freeze. So I warned the, uh, the, the dentist that um, I don't freeze. And um, so they, of course, they assumed as in I don't do general anesthesia, which is fine. Okay. But of course, I'll do the local one with the little shot, right? And I, I see this little, you know, gun coming and it's like, oh, wait a minute, I don't actually do that because it doesn't work, you know. So then I, I might, I, you know, you go through the swelling, through the, all the stuff, the frozen mouth, blah, 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 and it doesn't actually remove the pain. Mm -hmm. So I, um, <laughs> I had two very willing, uh, a fabulous dentist, actually, and, um, and his uh, assistant, I don't know if, what the qualification was in her role, if she's a dentist too or, or not. But um, and she was saying, oh my God, like, I can't, I can't witness this. You know, you can't take out wisdom teeth without anesthesia. That's insanity. And I said, no, 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 I just, you know, I can do it. I've done it here on this side. I can do it on this side, you know? So, so we did an x-ray to make sure that they're, you know, that they were not completely broken or sideways where you really do need surgery and then it's not appropriate to do it in a dental office anyways. But, you know, mine were clean. They were, they were pierced. I mean, it pierced the skin. And, um, and the dentist said, okay, I've done, I said, have you done lots of teeth pulling? And he's, you know, a little bit on the older side. Of course he has. <laughs> he goes, yes. I said, so let's do it then and he goes okay let's do it like and just tell me how it's how long it takes and it's like three you know about three seconds you know you go in you roll the tooth and then you you force it out the other piece so the the actual discomfort is one second and then maybe one and a half maybe two seconds at, at the very very most right and so I did a meditation, a slight hypnosis, you know, I said, just tell me good things if you're going to tell me anything at all. And I did, you know, a, an acupuncture point that I just held and I just breathed and, and I mean, they were just exploding with, um, with pleasure to see how incredible it is that, you know, how our mind can really, you know, with our body, right? Because I was using techniques that allow the body to, to relax and stay in the present and not create horrible stories, <laughs> you know, because that's the worst of it, right? <laughs> it's like, you know, if, if I were to visualize everything, it, I could probably get very nauseated. But, you know, again, this is something like they go, wow, we're going to tell everyone this is the first time they've had to do this. But there's, there's a lot of people who don't do well with, um, with anesthesia or it doesn't work for them. 
Mm -hmm. They just say, okay, go ahead, because that's the standard procedure, right? And when you, when you know that we have mechanisms within ourselves that really allow us to deal with just about anything, if we're willing, you know, they were so grateful that, that I allowed them <laughs> to witness this. And then, you know, our hour was done in no time because it didn't take an hour since this was very, very short. And there was, um, I just asked for five seconds to prepare. So I could, and I took Arnica, which is a homeopathic um, remedy too for shock. And also it, it, it stops, um, you know, um, well, it does both. It regulates the, so there's no, uh, you can have blood clot if you want it, but you also can have blood flow. So it actually just um, allows the um, metabolism to do what it needs to do for its survival, right? Um, so it, it was just a very interesting experience, <laughs> anyways. But that was yesterday, so that's what I'm sharing with. <laughs> oh, I know. I so enjoyed you sharing this. This is yeah. Oh, so there. So you're the first patient, right? First. Yeah, yeah, that that you know that did it uh, for them. But it's such a you know it just made me realize how much we've lost touch with really what is our inner power and our strength and how we believe things that we've been told. You know, like you know, like I know that the uh, the assistant said, well, oh my God, no, it can't be done. We've never. Uh, done this it can't be done it's like well is that true yes. is it true you know <laughs> no it's not it, of course it can be done like if it was done it's been it's done in other parts of the country where people have to pay not the country in other countries where people have to pay extra for the anesthesia so there you know there are places where people do this you know and, and again it's like going back to sort of like analyzing all parts of everything and asking questions. Do we need this or do we not need this? Is this true or is it not true? <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah, and just having the knowledge, you know, and you feel like you're making the right decision for you. And, mm -hmm. and it's, you know, it's, yeah. So it's just like healthcare, uh, just like, I repeat myself here, but it's just so difficult to get even a family doctor. So yeah. um, and yeah. time is like, yes, yeah, so I'm, I'm very happy to have a family doctor and I see her and I'm glad, but I prefer that. I, you know, I mean, you know, virtually is okay, but it's not the best. It's really, you know, it's nothing you like miss, it. You miss things virtually. There's no yeah. way. <laughs> like interviewing <laughs> and <TV. laughs> yeah. so uh, our time is like literally up is there any last words you want to leave people with and your your notes will come underneath and people can reach you or your show so um anything um, you'd like to say well i just wanted to thank you very much for having me I, it's been a pleasure it went by so fast i just <laughs> I can't believe it. <laughs> That's all I wanted to say. Okay, well, thank you. Thank you for joining us at the Healers Cafe with Manau Belize. Continue your healing journey by visiting thehealerscafe.com and her website and discover how to listen to your body and reboot for optimal health.